Hello and welcome to another episode of Udaku Products. We are the only we're the only show in Kenya where women talk about controversial topics behind closed doors. Yani Hatuo Go P. Yes, we're here to talk about relationship issues that women feel like it's sensitive and they want to talk about it. So we're here to we're here to put it in the open. Karibu sana ladies for joining me today. I have these lovely ladies here with me. Aki Mumengara. As always. And you too, Mama. Y'all are always color coordinating. Like, when you see the same WhatsApp group, I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah, I feel like someone is copying somebody What do you mean? What do you mean? Yo, don't fight. It's just the beginning of the show. Ebu, come on. Hey, Ebu, introduce yourself to our viewers kindly, Damaris. Hi guys, my name is Damaris Kaluki, the financial advisor and the journalist. Oh. Karibu, Mama. Oh. <laughs> Karibu. Hi, <team. laughs> Hi guys, my name is Hadija Asman and I'm an agent, travel agent in makeup artist. Yeah. Karibu, Khadija. I just hope you guys don't copy each other because yo, you're leaving me out. <laughs> eh? I'm, I'm oh. I wonder leave. how you never get the memo, by the way. Mm -hmm. I don't Please. understand. Why, yes, yeah, I cannot wear try. black and y'all are wearing white. That is unfair. Hey, yes, at least black and red goes together. Do you think so? You, you still have some power. Uh -huh. no, don't, no, come on, don't patronize me. <laughs> come on, don't patronize me, woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's mm -hmm. guys? Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. And our topic of the day mm -hmm. is, do we think the love of money mm -hmm. depreciates our value as women? There's a point where... Um, I spoke about this um, a while ago at Sabala TV, mm -hmm. that women, we are becoming too much when it comes to money. Mm -hmm. Like everything is becoming money minded. You yeah. do not care where your, money, your man gets the money from. He mm -hmm. might be doing human trafficking, wash, mm -hmm. wash. He might be a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. You don't care so long as he brings the money home. And that is pretty screwed up, you know, mm -hmm. because you're supposed to know exactly where this man is getting his money. And also another thing, understand when a man is not financially stable because we are giving too much pressure. And the pressure is reciprocated. We, we tend to to like to wither away, you know. Mm -hmm. So my question for today is: Does the love of money, the too much love of money, depreciate our value as women? So what's your take on that, Damaris? My take on that uh, is a no. For me, it's no. It just depends. With you know, you can love money. But to what extent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, too much love of money. I feel it's totally fine. I mean, what can you do without money? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You mm -hmm. cannot even breathe without money. Wow. Because you'll just fall down and die of hung hunger. <laughs> hunger, <laughs> money, hunger. <laughs> <laughs> hunger, the hunger. I'm, I'm Kamba, so. Yeah, yeah. By the way, we understand. <laughs> you'll just fall down and die. Mm -hmm. I mean, but then it's it, what uh, what matters the most. I feel is. To what extent mm -hmm. are you willing to go to get this money? Yeah. That should be the issue. Yeah, not it's like how much. much yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To the extent of killing someone, mm -hmm. no. That mm -hmm. definitely depreciates your value. Mm -hmm. Not only for women, but even mm -hmm. men. I mean, yeah. to what extent are you willing to go to get this mm -hmm. money? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sizey, it's, it's, it's a reached a point whereby I don't even judge women who go out there mm -hmm. to do ukahaba to get money. You don't? I don't. Wow. I've reached a place where I don't blame people who go out there, do their thing. Mm -hmm. I just pray for them. I just pray for them, by the way, mm -hmm. because there's something that is really pushing them. These people out there in the streets, uh, where we most of the time tend to judge, because mm -hmm. they're out there, mm -hmm. and you're going there, mm -hmm. I stopped judging these women. Until you're in a position of lack as a woman, mm -hmm. especially as a single mother, mm -hmm. I know others are not even mothers out there. Yeah. They're just doing it for the sake mm -hmm. of just getting money. Yeah. Or we talk about very poor backgrounds, mm -hmm. maybe we're mm -hmm. and they find themselves there. So I stopped judging. When you, you, you put yourself in, in someone's shoe, Mm -hmm. uh, like like I said, if if you're a mother and you ever lack something to feed your kid, mm -hmm. then you will not even dare think of judging any woman who goes out there mm -hmm. to look for money to feed their child. But where, where do we draw the line, ladies? Mm -hmm. um, when you've mentioned when you've mentioned the prostitution and mm -hmm. all that, I mean, every human being has their weakness and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But society is looking up to you. Your children mm -hmm. are looking up to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are so many things that are in PA when it comes to mm -hmm. the love and thirst for money. Mm -hmm. I mean, the lack of contentment is becoming too much, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, what's your take about that, Khadija? My take on uh, money has really downgraded. Depreciated. depreciated. Like, the love of too love much money, money yeah. has depreciated our value as women. As mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to some extent, yes, but to some extent, no. 
because uh, the world today, the world we are living in, you need that money. Mm -hmm. in our daily activities. Mm -hmm. You wake up, you need mm -hmm. breakfast. You wake up, you need to look good. You wake mm -hmm. up, you have responsibilities. First of all, mm -hmm. have responsibilities out here. Mm -hmm. And uh, in most cases, you might find that uh, mm -hmm. maybe I don't have that degree mm -hmm. or maybe I don't have that skill. You know, the people who lack totally. Mm -hmm. They don't have the skill, they don't have the, the education, they don't have the papers. Mm -hmm. So you're here like uh, the only choice I have uh, mm -hmm. is either to open a uh, OnlyFans Oh my goodness. Uh, mm -hmm. Do ukahaba mm -hmm. or uh, look for the babas for money. Mm -hmm. They who can fancy whatever you want to mm -hmm. be fancy, whether the lifestyle or whether my responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I feel it's the extent at which you're willing to go. Mm -hmm. But even at that extent, mm -hmm. some of us have families. Mm -hmm. have brother, you have small sisters when you want to grow. So uh, in as much as you want to do these things, at least also try and reason out our to you. The people who are looking up up to you, what you know, what you know, what you know, it's okay to get that money, it's okay mm -hmm. to do what you're doing behind closed doors, but mm -hmm. also be careful yeah. because at the end of the day, everything is out here and you can't even go back home and face your family, you can't go back home and face what you know, what you know, respect. You know, some people out here are quite respected because of uh, our. Social uh, status. Social status. Yeah, very true. Living. Uh, unfortunately, that's where mm, the world is heading. Yeah, now to haju kenyu unapitia no patei pesa. So to some extent, it has degraded our value as women mm -hmm. because to, you, I, I've had recently what mm -hmm. TV any successful woman it's mm -hmm. being associated with either ukahaba or men. Thank you. Or socialite. Or being a socialite. Yeah, socialite yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel as of women ukipata yo pesa mtu mwenye anafanya hiki tu hasa clean lakini unajua kuna watu wanasema hmm assumption yeah assumptions there are so many ni mbaba zo sijui ni nini so as much as that appear value yako wewe mwenye unajua iko haijakuwa downgraded but people are also making it being downgraded yeah very sure but you know uko clean so but um the positive side and the and negative, the negative. Side. but i feel like the negative outweighs the positive why because we've had scenarios where um, personally i had a story that broke me of a woman yeah. who was telling a story she was doing the ukahaba thingy that means prostitution for anyone yeah. who doesn't understand kiswahili so the lady is describing this and she looked very young she looked like she's 21 22 very young lady mm -hmm. she says ah nilikuwa na marafiki zangu then we went to this bash and we went to this bash then after that we went for a jobo mm -hmm. now that's how they call it nowadays if you hear a woman say jobo, jobo. <laughs> jobo. <laughs> so i went for the jobo we mm -hmm. got there then all of a sudden mm -hmm. there's um i don't know several nigerian guys yeah, yeah. who want to perform rituals on yeah, them yeah. So, and it's a matter of life and death. Mm -hmm. It's not like, it's no joke. It's not like they're just doing ritual on you and they're like, okay, now you can go. It's a matter of life and death. Like you might mm -hmm. even walk out of there dead. I mean, like, you might not even walk out of that uh, scenario. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Like women have gone through that. Mm -hmm. There was even a time we had a strike here in Kenya mm -hmm. about women getting killed randomly. It's mm -hmm. even happening too much, so mm -hmm. many times. But we will not assume that it is, it's um, what, what took them there is money. But yeah. of less, the type of confessions we're getting online mm -hmm. of women who've had near-death experiences is because they were there to get money yeah. using their body. Yeah. Do you understand me? Yeah. So you're putting yourself in a position whereby you're risking your life even. Mm -hmm. And in every history, when it comes to a sociopath or a psychopath mm -hmm. who kills people, their first trial is always on prostitutes. Do you know why? Because they're the most vulnerable. Because they're the, most, they're the people who, when they die, the, 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 the sociopaths and the psychopaths believe nobody's going to look for this person because automatically mm -hmm. you've already degraded your value as a woman. It has depreciated as a mm -hmm. woman simply because you, you're working so hard to get money. Sio Kobaya, Wanawake, I'm speaking directly to you from the bottom of my heart. If you're ever in the position whereby Uuze mandazi kwa barabara ama uuze mwili yako tafadhali uza mandazi hata kama ni hiyo makaa hata kama ni ku, kukua like house made osha hiyo nyumba scrub that dish god at the end of the day will open doors for you i don't think money is that drive and motivation that will make you hurt your body put your life at risk and i'm speaking this because it's very heartfelt because young girls are dying out here. Mm -hmm. Young girls are perishing out here 
very young girls who have very bright future. What are the chances of a, of a, of a, of a young girl selling mandazi be like by the road getting killed? Very low. <laughs> what are the chances of a young girl being a housemaid getting mm. killed? Very low. What are the chances of a young girl who's being a hawker or doing anything? Me, I've even seen women who are doing matatu by the big up. These matatu conductors, ladies, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. I even feel safer with them. Mm -hmm. Like, what are the chances of them getting killed? Mm -hmm. Like, the respect I feel for these women is bigger because you're being, you're being a good inspiration to young girls out here. Don't get to that level because you're hurting your body, you're risking your life. Mm -hmm. You're the first target when it comes to psychopaths out here. When it comes to bad men out here, you're the first target. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, ladies, because... No, yeah? you are very correct, Ju. Yeah, I think something that uh, drives women could after eat better the, the way they do. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're judging you guys. Mboka ni mboka. Skata yuwa mnasema mboka ni mboka. No, mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, At the end of the day, you have to make a living. You mm -hmm. have to survive. Uh, lakini, iyo um, mboka ni unafanya, mm -hmm. ni, it's, it's coming from a point of pressure. Very true. It's coming from a point of pressure. Umona Hadija and then give her forty thousand within a day. Now, Miss Yazinga, you do be Hadija. Second, Kafana, you go even as a banya twelve hours a night and can go to fifty. Send me in the open. Yeah, to talk in the same level. So, you want to get whatever I'm getting in a day, but I'm getting it in a right way. But because of the pressure you feel like I'm giving you, when I'm working, this is how I'm like him. At some point, mm. <laughs> to punguze. To punguze. it's too much, by the way. Especially it's the GNZs. Much. I think that with yeah. the GNZs, it's we'll even more. To the mm. We want it ready. Mm. And there's nothing ready. Yeah. If I had to say the, the kind of hustles I've done, I can't come to Zina Galera and get you to find a PMU. Kill them to honor your patients. Yeah, kill them to honor your patients. Let's do some thinking. So, everybody who has an opportunity mm -hmm. to do whatever you're saying, mm -hmm. Makanga. Kupika Mandazi, mm -hmm. it's not everybody mm -hmm. who has the finances to even start that business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of people are, there are so many beggars out here. Uto say dear nani watch nani. Who are meachu hana metaftamboka. So I feel like there are so many angles you should look at even when judging people. Because now most of the times the limelight is at the kahabas out there, that is the prostitutes out there. Mm -hmm. But a lot of women are, do, are doing it. Are doing it as long as you you in a place where you are going to see a man for money, you're already mm. doing it. Yeah, here I am doing it busy. I can I need him when I party a time and I do a massage busy. But you're doing it with more than one person as well because when I take a we go to Mbaba's shopping, we go to Mbaba's house rent. I mean, Perhaps, a lot of women yeah. are doing that thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Yeah, yeah can yeah. let her finish first? Oh. So mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A lot of people are doing uh, that thing, yeah? It's mm -hmm. not as, it's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. Saying that women wache watafute kazi za makanga, wapike mandazi, watu wata wajuku pika, where do you even start? How na, how watu wana patients, madhe pale ni msik, unataka do, mandazi itakuletea do sangapi. Yeah? I feel, kila mtu wachape hasole yake. Yeah? Chapa hasole yake, God for us all. Do your wow. thing. Do your thing, guys. Yeah. Do your thing. Get but the money. I don't yeah. feel at our love for money. Yeah. Manze, go step out. Look for the money. Borrow, borrow how we him to. Me for me. Yeah. Borrow, you're so not killing you're not anybody. Killing yeah. And you're not hurting. Step out. Man. Step out. Mm -hmm. You're not different. Yeah. Those kahabas are not different from women mm -hmm. in these houses mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Sitting in these houses. Uta toka apu wendo unesaimu pale. Utoke apu kesho kevo. Umpatiye free na yana pata ganj. Na kesho. Hey. What's it after me do? Me for me. Hey. Me respect this lady. And I also wanted to ask this question. You know, we talked about the prostitutes and the one with OAE fans and those, yeah? It's okay. We put our one as well, but then we downgrade my value as a woman just looking for the money, but eh? inabidi. Ana kula jasho yake. Eh, yeah, na kuna ule mwizi. Pia yeye ana downgrade value yake. Unataka mm. kuna ushipita essay tunasikia kuna baadhi ya jambo lile demo na kuanga mwizi. Eh, eh, so mm. unataka mm. downgrade nini mm. yake? Mm. Aya con women out here. Corruption mm. politicians mm. everywhere. <laughs> Why is what one neighbor? <laughs> so, mm. whichever way we are downgrading our value. Mm -hmm. Elewe ni tu. Mboka ni mbo. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you now. But oh. <laughs> yeah. no, so let me tell you. Let me tell you. My point is, mm -hmm. you see where we are right now. Mm -hmm. I'm still suckling it back to mm -hmm. where we've gotten as women, mm -hmm. especially the GNZs. How they put it out there, like yeah. it's very normal and it's very okay to do it. Mm -hmm. um, um, unfortunately, 
prostitution has mm -hmm. been normalized. Mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah, as compared to being a thief, there's no like no one is <laughs> no one wants to normalize being a thief. <laughs> no one wants to know that. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to know that you, yeah. you kill people. Yeah. No one wants to know that you you actually you know you're a serial mm -hmm. cheater or a serial mm -hmm. player. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to prostitution, how come we're mm -hmm. okay with that, and it's still hurting the society in a way? Ask me why. Mm -hmm. Because you're making the younger girls from the younger generation think that this is actually normal. I can actually consider this to be a career. Yeah. Let me ask you two ladies right now. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Mm -hmm. You said you're okay with that. Hustle me, hustle, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. But if, for instance, you have a baby girl, you mm -hmm. have a baby girl, mama. Yeah. And if you had a baby girl, mm -hmm. would you tell her the same thing? I will not tell her the same thing. Thank you. That's I will not tell her the same thing, you know but she'll, have to, make, she'll have to make the choices. No. Do you know what? That's why I put a full song. Mm -hmm. If you cannot tell your daughter that, then don't tell my daughter that. Mboka I am <laughs> very real. For, for me, I think I'm the realest. Let me tell you. No. If you're not going to tell your daughter mm -hmm. that, do not tell my daughter that, especially us, like people who are on the media, mm -hmm. you cannot sit here and say, I'm mm -hmm. not going to raise your kid, raise your kid yourself. No. Mm -hmm. I'm also responsible with raising your kid because mm -hmm. your kid will automatically go on that YouTube no, and see I'm you not on TV. Yeah. I'm honestly You're not starting. responsible for raising your kid. I will say Mboka ni Mboka, my child will see this. But mm -hmm. she's the one who decides what kind of life well, she wants to live want at the end of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because her prostitution, pr prostitutes, yeah, there are people who have been raised in good families, no, but they chose that life. Wali Jitoka. Wali Toka. I mean, we just pray. We just pray. No, I'm, I'm, you know what, people, guys? Yeah? I don't mm -hmm. want it to come. I don't want, I didn't want it to come off judgy mm -hmm. as if I'm judging these yeah. people. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is it's becoming a crisis mm -hmm. to the fact that we're normalizing it. Mm -hmm. My question initially was mm -hmm. why aren't you normalizing stealing thieves? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. When you say, ah, that is, that is bad. Uh, that is bad. Do you understand me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you understand me one? Mm -hmm. Like what I'm trying to say is mm -hmm. This is still bad for the society. You mm -hmm. This is bad. It's a, it's a crime. Still in. No, no, no. Have you seen, have you seen mm -hmm. ladies nowadays who go online and they're like, yes, me, I was a prostitute. Like, for instance, Diana Marwa. Mm -hmm. There's a time I heard her story. Mm -hmm. And she's like, hey, me, I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. And all that. Mm -hmm. As if. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing to put out there. Do you know automatically what young girls feel like? Mm -hmm. They feel like so to get where she is, mm -hmm. this is how I have to she start. Has to start it. Okay, it's I didn't her get past. this, but I didn't get it come out that way. Mm -hmm. That was her past. And remember, that is not as what has put her where she is today. Mm -hmm. She again started from scratch. Alianza na Bahati. Wakangangana. Iju Bahati alimtoa wapi? Bahati alimtoa wapi ndio wabilizi? Aside from that, aside from that, my dear. Mm -hmm. Nani, Diana was even, before after he, she met Bahati, mm -hmm. she was doing the promotion for Nivea. Was it Nivea yeah. or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. she, alirudia kasema, mm -hmm. yi lifestyle. Let me tell you, I'm, I, what I'm comfortable with. Let me tell you what I'm comfortable with. Yeah. As much as you're going to be honest about your past, and you're going to open up out in the public mm. show the younger generation that it's, it's wrong, wrong. It's wrong. What I, how i want mm. your statement to end mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. i've been here i've done that mm -hmm. i was hurt mm -hmm. i it was a very bad experience it's wrong you know majority of people trash talked mm -hmm. bridget the the socialite the famous yeah. socialite when mm -hmm. she said mm -hmm. i went through shit just to be a socialite yeah i went through hell on earth people will tell you to eat their shit and all that like i went through bad shit this is not easy it's not good it's not right yeah i respected her for that mm -hmm. tell my kid that if my if i ever get a, a kid tell my kid mm -hmm. she will go through hell on earth mm -hmm. just to get small amount of money and the money doesn't even change your life mm -hmm. you understand yeah me? So, at the end of the day, if you want to confess it to the public, you don't make it look like it's an achievement it's okay. and it got you where you are. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I, I get your point. Mm -hmm. I'm so, be, so, before That's we wrap up, um, any final message, any final story before we wrap up the show? Any final, uh, what I'd like to tell my girls, whoever are coming up, Sikata mm Mboka -hmm. Mboka. Mm -hmm. But there are so many other things you can do. Usi ogope yo hasol kadogo wa ini unasema, ay, mini nini nisi mame kwa parapara ni kiuza suiti? You never know, mtana toke ugo akuokota aseme, eh, ni mwona you are potential, and you you go you go places. Just, I've seen people grow from nowhere. Ana kwambe mimi ni nikuwa natembea kutoka sujuo ngwaro paka tao, nina nafupanya, nasayo na kwenye niko. Most of these people who have made it in life, they have a background story that is not easy. Siya tiali ya mkato wakapata ndo ipesa hapa. 
mm-hmm. but you want a very unataka simple things very fast thing unataka wa mkekesho na upate 1 million this is not this are not the times for mana from heaven then let's just do our hustle mm-hmm. correctly mm-hmm. na kama hiyo ni unafanya na unaona at the back of your mind you know what you're doing is wrong mm-hmm. but if it's for a period of time do it and leave it alone change mm-hmm. So ladies and gentlemen time to keep it raw and as clear as it is lakini nyinyi ni waulize ukiangalia sakina surely sakina do you think do you think that girl can be can sustain her lifestyle with only one income do you i know she what what is she preaching oh oh wababa oh wababa jesus food for thought look at hadija I think that's uh, just someone who doesn't even know where she falls. Juzi, wajemu, kesho, kwa saimo. What is she saying? Mboka ni mboka. But girls, remember, I'm also a mom. A mom of a girl, and I don't advocate for this, but like I said, let it be the last option if you don't have anything else to do. But it is not something that I really advocate for. I will not even advocate it to anyone, not to talk about even my daughter to anyone. But I don't judge anyone. to try to hustle madam to hustle to hustle the right way and i mean god would bless the work of her hands yes. hey so um i call these beautiful ladies hmm for kamahambri to kule kule mahambri na masoda we were talking about the topic of is the too much love for money making our value depreciate as women na kwa mimi mimi nimesikiza uongo leo because how would you tell me eh Damaris especially um I want like I, I'm, I almost rolled my eyes let me roll it now like <laughs> how would you tell us that it's okay you can eh you can do your hustle it doesn't matter but you cannot tell your daughter that absolutely yes. limshika I saw through the bullshit like how do you tell us it's okay do your hustle but you're not telling your daughter the same thing let me sip my soda Jesus for life wrong wrong wrong, wrong. Mm. Ciao. On this topic here, um, money degrades feminism. The love of money degrades the value of women. I feel like Sekina you based so much on the Russian side than the reality on the ground. Baby girl, vitu kwenje ni different. Na as much as unataka mtu akwambia ti oh uh, yes I was there and at the day of the, at the end of the day vitu change your ways or You just want these girls to change their ways at the end of the day. Ayezekani, these are choices at the end of the day. Huyu mtu anataka maisha yake venye ataishi, ni yeye venye ataishi. So come to reality when you have to go ground and just to stop being too much on the religious side. But all the same I love you. <laughs>